Your vessel has 1.5 meters draft and 900 horsepower propulsion. Your voyage orders are to transport four passengers from Maracas Bay to Point Cumana. Consult the chart catalog to see what charts cover the area. The appraisal informs us that the smallest scale charts available for the voyage are charts 500, 483 and 474. The passage plan should have prompts or smaller scale charts, with more details are available. When we scrutinize the charts, we should use a magnifying glass on paper charts or the zoom feature on chart plotters. In this case we look at the smallest scale chart available for each area of the voyage. At the departure area, we use chart 500 to look for the underwater hazards and in the arrival area we look at chart 474. For the middle of the voyage we look at chart 483. There are rocks close to La Vache Point. There are rocks south of Sotdo Island, where we intend to pass. There is an artificial reef off Corozal Point. There are rocks north of Manos Island. There is a bar, Scorpion Ledge, extending from southeast Gaspar Grand. When we check the sailing directions, we will see the seasonal conditions. Chart 483 has a chart note about the Guiana current. The sailing directions tell us that the Boca de Manos is not recommended. The sailing directions also tell us there are seasonal variations of current and wind in the north of the island. There is our La Tidal current predictions for the north entrance of the Boca de Huevos. The tidal information for Las Cuevas, Gaspar Grande and Port of Spain will be helpful for current prediction and if under keel clearance is critical. All of the charts have chart notes about oil rigs, oil and gas field activity and the Brighton and Soldado oil fields. The chart notes are a prompt to check for navigational warnings in force. Navigational warnings can be accessed on the Ministry of Works and Transport website. In 2020 the process was, look for divisions, look for maritime services division, look for notices. We look at the navigational warnings for the area to see if there are any rig moves or other activities in progress at the time you will be there. From the thorough appraisal, we know that Maracas, Las Cuevas, Carnage, Point Cumana and Cockerite are fish landing points. We know that longliners and trawlers operate on the north coast. So we can expect vessels engaged in fishing and vessel returning to port with their catch. We have to decide on how much sea room we want between our ship and navigation hazards, if your vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. There is a chart note about high speed craft along the north coast and in the Gulf of Paria. This refers to the inter-island ferry service. It would be helpful to know the ferry and water taxi schedule and avoid impeding their passage. We have to decide on how much sea room we want around our ship, if our vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. In addition to the ship's loading and discharging passengers and cargo, commercial ports have traffic from supply boats, tugs, launches, pilot boats operating near them in multiple directions. Sometimes there are oil rigs being towed into anchorage positions off Port of Spain. We have to decide on how much sea room we want around our ship, if our vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. There are recreational craft marinas in Chaguaramas Bay, Carnage Bay, Point Cumana and San Fernando. Recreational craft are small and hard to see even with radar, if not fitted with a reflector. Recreational vessels could be operated by persons who are not trained or not experienced in collision avoidance and seamanship. The slide shows a waypoint near to the marina in Point Cumana. We have to decide on how much sea room we want around our ship, if our vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. A waypoint is selected at or near the boat's position in Maracas Bay. We consider traffic coming into Maracas Bay around Point Maro, the inshore current and the presence of swell from the hurricane passing to the north. A waypoint is selected off Point Moro. A waypoint is selected off La Vache Point and another south of Sotdo Island. We use the magnifying glass or the zoom feature to see the details south of Sotdo to select the waypoint. The waypoints have to be transferred to from chart 500 to chart 483. We consider traffic along the north coast, 
the inshore current and the presence of swale from the hurricane passing to the north. A waypoint is selected off the artificial reef at Corozal Point. We consider traffic through the bocas, the inshore current and the presence of swale from the hurricane passing to the north. A waypoint is selected in the north entrance the Boca de Huevos. Waypoints are selected off Espolan Point and Scorpion Ledge with regard to current, tide, the wreck south of Gaspar Ground and Scorpion Ledge. The course from Maracas to Moro Point is easy to plot. The courses from Point Moro to Corozal Point are easy to plot. The courses from Corozal Point to Espolan Point are easy to plot. The course from Espolan Point to Scorpion Ledge is easy to plot if the waypoints were correctly selected. This is a course line where the tight predictions for Gasper Ground must be available. The course from Scorpion Ledge to Point Kiumana Marina is a straight line without underwater dangers, but there could be traffic. The course from Scorpion Ledge to Point Kiumana Marina is a straight line without underwater dangers, but there could be traffic. Unless the GPS is new out of the box, there will likely already be waypoints stored in the memory. In any case, the set will assign a waypoint number, if there is sufficient memory to store your waypoints. If there is not enough memory, you will have to free up memory by deleting old waypoints. Many GPS sets will have a feature to name waypoints also. The waypoints can be input in any order. To create a route, we go to the appropriate part of the menu and select waypoints in the sequence for the route. When the route is saved, we check the courses and distances displayed on the GPS with those done manually or on the chart. This close to shore there should not be over-reliance on GPS for position fixing. The cliffs along the north coast and in the Boca de Huevos should provide reliable radar range position lines and targets for parallel indexing. Once clear of the Boca de Huevos south entrance, there are numerous resources for visual bearings and transits. We should consider that a vessel drifting at a 2 knox current will travel 0.1 nautical miles or 185 meters in around 3 minutes. The position fixing interval could be around 6 minutes for most of the route. The position fixing interval from La Vache Point to Sotdo Island could be 3 minutes. The position fixing interval from Point to Diable being a beam to Corozal Point could be 3 minutes. The position fixing interval from La Chapeau being a beam to Boca de Huevos and in the Boca could be 3 minutes. We should consider that a vessel drifting at a 2 knox current will travel 0.1 nautical miles or 185 meters in around 3 minutes. The position fixing interval could be around 6 minutes for most of the route. The position fixing interval from Espolan Point being a beam to clear of Scorpion Ledge could be 3 minutes.